So I'm telling you brothers, y'all gotta get away from this dark energy. Get out of this mindset of wanting to oppose something. Get out of this mindset of wanting to hurt somebody. Learn to move out of love. Learn to move out of peace. Learn to move out of self-benefit. And I don't mean self-benefit to the point where you're trying to step on somebody's neck to get something because you don't have to step on nobody to get nothing you want. It's never like that. The whole notion behind competition is a, is a myth. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. In this edition of Philosophical Friday, I wanted to originally continue on with the way of the superior man talking about some of the key points in that book. But after going through some debates on my personal YouTube channel, um, personal YouTube account, over this passport bro thing and, and just looking at how brothers respond to people who are not quite feeling them, you know what I'm saying? Look, look at how they, how they disrespect any man that, that kind of question them, you know what I'm saying? How they, how they view any woman that, 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 that questions what they're doing or their motives, how they view her as an enemy and they, they, she's just mad, she's hating and these women are actually making fun of these dudes. I already did a video saying don't turn manhood into a joke. These women are making fun of these dudes, but, but you know, it just, it's the way that they act is almost like they are possessed by some type of dark energy. So I decided that I think that's what I need to talk about. I need to talk about avoiding dark energy. Brothers, y'all have to understand that this online world is not real, first of all. You are dealing with dogmas that are not accompanied by doctrine or designation, meaning that they have no elected leaders and they have no uh, 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 enforceable uh, uh, laws, canons, no, no kind of enforceable rules. It's just strongly held opinions that kind of take a life of their own and run rampant. So many of the things you dudes believe in is just so wrong that it's not funny. It's beyond making a joke out of it. Take this whole passport bro thing. If you think that you're gonna just go to another country and women gonna fall at your feet and you're gonna be standing like a king with all these beautiful women all around you, you tripping bro. That's the same insanity of the Islamic thing about you gonna go blow yourself up at a coffee shop and end up in heaven with 72 versions. It, it's, it's crazy. It's not gonna work that way, man. Yeah, you have a few women in other countries that just go goo goo gaga behind American men, particularly black American men. But most of them women are not gonna wanna marry you for real. And even more of them not gonna care that you're American or black American. It's just not gonna be the kind of party you think it is. You're not gonna be walking down the street and women be grabbing at your shirt and grabbing at you like they've never seen you before. It's not gonna happen that way, man. And this is what I hear going on in the, in the, in the realm of the, of the little passport bros. But even worse, what I see is that Y'all seem to embrace a lot of this stuff because y'all think it hurts women. You are not supposed to do this to hurt women. You are supposed to do that to benefit yourself. If you feel that you need to broaden out your options beyond the borders of this country and, and seek out dates or mates elsewhere, do that. Do that. By all means, go do it. But you have to understand that you're going to another country in a world that is no longer free, in the world of borders and passports. The very thing y'all talk about, passport, that's permission to leave and re-enter. That's what a passport is. Visas, that's permission to enter. So when you go overseas, you got, you, you know, 
You have to be prepared to either go over there for a long period of time so you can meet somebody, get to know her, marry her, and possibly come back if that's what you choose to do. Or you need to be prepared to stay over there. And if you want to stay over there, now you got to you gotta figure out a way to justify being in that country. Because a lot of countries, particularly European countries, they don't just let anybody just waltz on in and stay. That's why so many of these brothers are going to more impoverished type countries like Thailand and Cambodia and stuff like this here. This is why they ended up in these places because these places would take a Westerner for any reason, right? Because they feel like, you know, our money is worth more. We're going to spend more money. You know, even if we make it money here, spending there is better for them. So they'll take you. But a lot of other countries won't take you like that. It's not that easy. And there's nobody online telling you how difficult it really is to just pick up and move to another nation which y'all already know is difficult that's why most of y'all haven't gone this is why 99 percent of y'all are still sitting online posting up little airplanes because you think you poking at black women or poking at women in general instead of just leaving because you can't leave leaving is not a realistic option well, you know what else is not realistic? Thinking that you're just gonna go over there and find some beautiful woman and everything gonna be hokey-dory. It ain't happening like that, bro. It's not happening like that. Your, your attractive qualities might be more uh, by being a black American because you're a little more unique, you're different. You might bring a little more in, in, in regards to attractive qualities elsewhere. But that's only going to carry you so far, particularly if you're a dude that can't get women here in America. If you're a lame here, you're going to be a lame there. You're only going to be marginally successful with women elsewhere. I mean, insignificantly so. It's not going to be what y'all think it's going to be. It's not going to happen that way, man. And these dudes are misleading you, man. They're misrepresenting the facts. But more importantly, it's why you are feeding into it. It's why you are participating in it because you're not actively trying to leave because you can't or you just don't really have an interest. But you're sitting there posting these little airplanes and everything because you think you are hurting women. That is not how you do that, man. That's dark, brother. You are hurting yourself. Every time you do that to hurt women, you hurt yourself. Every time you go online and engage in these, to this type of manosphere, MGTOW, Red Pill channels, just so you could try to poke fun and make a comment at a woman, you're hurting yourself. Every time you go on one of these mini channels that go that do live streams, ragging on women all day, and you you donate $20, $30, $50, just so you can have a comment read across the screen, how you making fun and laughing at black women, you hurting yourself. None of these actions benefit you. You are hurting yourself. Whatever you're going to do, you, you should just do it. But you should do it with peace in your heart. You should do it with love in your heart. Listen, bro. And this is a touchy subject. I try not to really go there. But I'm going to say this right now. Truth of the matter is that I've, I've been personally, personally advising black men to seek out women of other races since about 2002. By 2002, I, have, I had dealt with enough different types of women to see, to see a clear different, difference, right? And at that time, one of my women in my polygynous family was white. And you know, again, she was the easiest one to get along with. The easiest one to get along with, you know? And I would tell brothers all the time, look, man, you should open up your options, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, it's just, it, it, you'll be better off if you just open up your options, you know? And they would get mad at me. The same type of brothers that are right now in the Red Pill, Manosphere, MGTOW community, the Black Red Pill, Black Manosphere, Black MGTOW communities, the same brothers, the same types of brothers that are in there right now are the ones that would get mad at me for suggesting that they broaden out their options if they want a woman because I seen the downward spiral of the marriageability of American women even back then 
even the white girls that I dealt with were different, the white American girls, they were different from say the white Spaniards I dealt with, the white French girls I dealt with, from Germany, Bosnia, Czech, Russia, I've met women from all these areas, and even those European women, they were just better. The interaction was better. It was more peaceful. Now, obviously, I didn't marry none of them. I, I have a German wife, but I didn't marry any of them. So, I mean, they come and go also in your life. But when they passing through, it was peaceful. And when they left, or when I left, it's still peaceful. If I bump into them women right now, it's all love. Because when I move, I move to benefit me and I do so out of peace and love, never to hurt somebody else. I do not make moves to hurt anybody. That's not how I think. I am not filled with dark energy. And the internet is full of dark energy. That's why all these dudes do is gossip. All they do is talk about athletes, talk about rappers, call them Pookies, they mad at the women that like them. They mad at the women that's on Instagram. They mad at the women that's only fans. They mad at the women that say they want a man with more money. They mad at the women that say uh, uh, they can't find a man with education. They mad at everybody. Don't y'all see this? Am I the only person looking at this and can see this for what it is? They are mad at everyone. Everyone. Nobody is good enough in their world. They have isolated themselves within a box of hate that exists online. Don't do yourself that, my brother. Don't do yourself that. Get out and live. Get out and interact. Get out and meet people. See what people think. See what pe how people feel about things. Get out and know people. But your problem is you want everything on your terms and the only place you can get everything on your terms is in this make-believe virtual world online. And you're not even getting things on your term now. Y'all just believe you are. That's the dogma of it. Y'all believe that y'all are winning. When you're not, how you winning? Why would these women be upset about what you dudes are doing when you're not doing nothing but talking? Y'all looking to be special instead of just looking to live your life. Y'all looking for some type of some type of elevation and status like y'all like to say instead of just looking to live your life. Just go live your life, man. Stop voting against people. Do you not realize that 90 some 99 some odd people that vote do so to oppose people? And the 1%, 2% or so that vote for their own benefits is actually the, the, the alphabet community and, and, and the feminists, they are the only ones, basically uh, the, the small group of white women that vote Democrat, all the black women that vote, and the black women don't vote for their benefit. They vote for the benefit of white women. Understand that. So the black women vote Democrat for the benefit of white women and the alphabet community and the homosexual community. That's what black women support. Because they're not getting nothing out of it personally. They are living vicariously through everything. They get nothing from it. So they actually vote for the benefit of someone else. And that small community vote, uh, group, they vote for their own benefit. Every little boost, nudge they get above us, they are happy. Even if it makes no sense. Like the bathroom and dressing room issue. So, okay. They want to fix it so that they don't have gender-based bathrooms and dressing rooms. So what most states did, they said, okay, the women can go in the men's dressing rooms and bathrooms, but the men still can't go in the women's dressing rooms and bathrooms because nobody wants a man whipping out his snake right there in, in the same bathroom with a little girl, right? We understand that. It makes, that makes sense to us. So if it makes sense one way, it should make sense the other way. Don't let them go in our bathroom, but they did it to placate to them. But the point is, they like those things. Anything to inconvenience us, they love it. So they vote for their own interests. Black women vote for their interests. But everybody else vote to oppose. I know a dude that was in the nation of Islam, that's in the nation of Islam, excuse me. This when Obama ran for office the first time. He was in Georgia. After Katrina, he actually went to Georgia. And he stood out there that day. It was raining. It was like a misty rain. It was cold. It was something like 50, 45, 50 degrees, a misty rain. 
right? Steady misty rain. And he stood out there for six and a half hours to cast a useless vote against Obama. He voted for Ralph Nader. Now, I ask you, say, why bother? If you're not going to vote for the Republican candidate or the Democrat candidate, candidate, why stand in a long line like that to cast a vote that you know don't matter? Why bother? And then it hit me. He did it because it was that deeply personal to him that he had to cast that vote against Obama. That's what it was about. If Obama wasn't running, he probably would have stayed home or he'd have voted Democrat. But because he didn't want to vote for the black man, because he usually vote Democrat, because he didn't want to vote for the black man, and he felt like he couldn't vote for the Republican Party, he took his black self down there. But well, he's a red dude, actually. But he took himself down there. He hit this. He gonna know what I'm talking about. It. He took this down there. He took himself down and stood in that long line in cold, drizzly weather just to cast a symbolic vote to himself that he can say, I oppose that nigga. That's dark energy, bruh. I wouldn't stand up there almost getting pneumonia to cast no useless vote against nobody. I don't, I don't care if that man went like that. I ain't, ain't got to cast no vote like that. It's not that important to me, man. That's dark energy. So I'm telling you, brothers, y'all got to get away from this dark energy. Get out of this mindset of wanting to oppose something. Get out of this mindset of wanting to hurt somebody. Learn to move out of love. Learn to move out of peace. Learn to move out of self-benefit. And I don't mean self-benefit to the point where you're trying to step on somebody's neck to get something because you don't have to step on nobody to get nothing you want. It's never like that. The whole notion behind competition is a, is a myth. There is no competition. I never care what kind of pimp type dude, pretty boy dude was in the house. I'm gonna get me. Like Jay-Z said, man, oh man, I'm just trying to do me. If your record's two mil, I'm just trying to move three. That's that's my mentality. Then you, you walk out with three, I'm walking out with six. You know, I mean, and I'm not trying to up you or nothing. I'm just going in and get me. I'm not letting nobody, I, see, I'm, I block out everything else, man. Look, when I hit a spot, it's just all about me. I'm doing me. I don't see nobody else. I don't know what nobody else doing. I, look, I'm just out there doing me. I'm not filled with dark energy. I don't feel a need to oppose people. I don't feel a need to best somebody. I don't feel a need to hurt somebody. I don't feel a need to tear somebody down or, or anything. This is why I've been so hesitant about doing reaction videos because I know that what I say is gonna go, go against, more than likely go against the person that I use in a video, right? And it just comes off like I'm hating on them personally. But, you know, a lot of y'all don't understand that I won't be. I'll be. I'm really talking about their beliefs. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm opposing the belief and not the person. I'm opposing the viewpoint and not the person. The person I don't care about. The person is irrelevant. It's the viewpoint that I'm talking about. So when I do reaction videos, I'm really talking about the viewpoint, right? Unless I'm just being funny like the last video I did talking about the beta thug. I'm just being funny, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, it was a catchy title. Truth be told, I don't care about dude. Truth be, if you listen to the video, I barely mentioned dude. I don't really mention him. But what I'm trying to say is that I don't move against people. And I do, when I do response videos, I'm not really worried about the person that I'm uh, reacting or responding to. It's more the concept or the viewpoints or the ideology or belief systems of that person that I'm talking about. Stop the person. But a lot of times, y'all take everything personal. Man, I can't even go online and disagree with you brothers on some of this MGTOW stuff, man. Y'all start calling me names, insulting me online, something that you wouldn't do in person. Like one dude tried to tell me, tell me here, he would curse me out in person. Dog, I bet <laughs> if you met me, even right now, my old self, I bet you wouldn't even think to disrespect me in person. Because if you did, it's on. And I don't know how far it's gonna go. I'ma leave it at that. It's on though. You're not about to insult me to my face. So why do it online? Why take this stuff so personal? I go out my way to not insult people when I, when I interact with them on these, on, on, in these comment sections. I go out of my way to make sure my words 
are very neutral and respectful. I, you know, I say what I gotta say, but I make sure I don't attack anybody because I'm not filled with dark energy, bro. You, what you do don't make me. Shit. I'm not worried about these dudes like that, bro. What these dudes do don't make me, man. What these dudes eat don't make me, bro. So I mean, I have no, I have no reason to be that personally invested in strangers. Why are y'all so invested in strangers? Y'all really not. What y'all doing, what y'all are invested in is, is ideology. Y'all are invested in beliefs. Y'all are invested in positions. And anybody that comes wrapped in that belief, that position, that ideology, y'all cling to that person. And anybody that kind of question it, even if they passively question it, y'all attack that person. That is dark energy. You are hurting yourself walking around in this mindset. You will never get a woman like that because that energy repels. Now we talk about universal law. What you don't understand is the more time you spend in this anger and bitterness, the, the harder it's going to be for you to actually meet a woman. Outside of some dodo bird woman that just want to be down because, you know, she wants to be oppressed though. You know, you got... You got crazy people, like the kind of women that marry serial killers while they're in prison. You do have crazy people, you know what I'm saying? Unless you get something like that, you ain't getting nothing. Why isn't Pearly married? In fact, I don't think most of these red pill girls are married. These red pill women. They're not married. But a lot of those liberal ones are married. You know, what makes people unmarriageable is their beliefs. It's their character. Because these things is what gives you your aura. These are the things that give you your vibe. These are the things that, that, that people feel when you approach them, when you come around. These are the things that, that cause you to express yourself in certain ways. Then these things make both men and women unmarriageable. Both of them. What makes you unmarriageable is your beliefs and your character. That's what makes you, it doesn't matter which side of the social political spectrum you are. It don't matter which religion you, you claim or don't claim. None of that matters. The only thing that matters is your beliefs and your character. And when you have a belief at the core where you, where it's, where it only exists to belittle somebody else, to put somebody else down, and that somebody happens to be somebody you want in your life, you have what you call a contradiction, and you have a conundrum. You have a conundrum. You, 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 you have a problem. You have a dilemma. You know what I'm saying? That's a dilemma. Because you don't want to abandon your belief, and you, and you, but you want that woman that your belief is causing you to keep, keep the women away. That's a dilemma. I'm going to say that again. You don't want to abandon the beliefs, but it's the beliefs that's keeping the women away from you that you want. So you can't have both. So you got to let one go. You got to either say, no women, I'm going to stay over here in the red pill, MGTOW, manosphere, or you got to drop the red pill, MGTOW, manosphere, and go get your woman. Or you got to hope you find a woman that's the type that'll marry a serial killer while he's, doing de while he's on death row. That, that's your options. That's your options. For me, I don't care either way. Do do you? But I'm just telling you that the dark energy that you are that you are holding in you, it's it's killing your soul. It's killing you, man. And a lot of y'all are actually investing in that dark energy through your dollars. Like I said, y'all go on these dudes' channels. Y'all go from channel to channel, dropping super chats just so you can say something negative about women and have it read across the screen. 30, 40, 50 dollars just so you can say something negative. Don't be that person. It can't be that serious. So, you know, everything you do, it got to be done out of love and peace. When your actions and, and you, you can't no longer see your actions uh, in, in through the scope of love and peace, you got to change. And y'all can't tell me that that what y'all do in the, in the black red pill, manosphere, and, and MGTOW, y'all can't tell me that that's out of self-love. Y'all dudes are some of the most hateful dudes around. Got nothing to do with love. And you are only hurting yourself. You're not hurting these women. 
I get tired of telling y'all they laughing at y'all. Y'all can make all the videos y'all want twisting these women words talking about they going crazy behind beyond passport, bro. First of all, most of these women don't even know a real passport, bro. They don't even know none of y'all. And if they know a dude, he's just one of them dudes that's just talking. He ain't going nowhere. He's one of them lame dudes that they wouldn't even date anyway. That's why so many of y'all have cartoons for y'all avatars. For 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 y'all for for y'all little um uh what they call it, little profile pictures. Don't put cartoon characters, you a grown man, and you around here talking about why women need to get their mind right so they can get them a husband. Come on, man. Come on, bruh. Come on, man. This is this is dark energy, man. And it's killing you, bruh. Just just think about it, man. Just just think about it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and I'll see you on the next one. This has been Philosophical Friday. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. So long.